For those of you that doesn't know us, uh, what do we do? We're a global personalized marketing company. We're doing retargeting, so we re-engage with your audience, we bring them back to the website so they convert, and we do it thanks to personalized product recommendations driven by understanding user behavior uh, and being able to predict uh, customer purchase intent. I'm Anthony Ha, I'm a senior writer at TechCrunch. I'm really just excited to be here to kind of hear what's on everyone else's mind. I'm here to take in the wisdom. One of the things that I think deep learning and, and a lot of the new AI technologies are, will, will get smarter about the frequency piece, which I think is one of the main complaints from users as well as people in the marketing space. Typically, a client's going to work with you know two to three retargeters. Um, they're going to work with a Google and then another you know more broad-based retargeter, and then oftentimes maybe a vendor like uh, a Facebook. To, for direct advice. We've got to make sure that everything that every one of our companies do, before it comes time to regulation, we respect the user, we respect the opportunity. It was a great conversation tonight around uh, where the market's going with, with advertising and targeting and how to be able to bring more uh, relevant media to people. All of this data can be used in a way to paint a picture of of the consumer, all in a way to be able to serve more relevant media to them ultimately. There's not necessarily a tip-off point to, to when personalization is right or wrong. It's finding the way that we can do it right so that we don't always feel like we're being disrupted or having people spying on us. If it's done right, we don't notice the good personalization and it just happens in the background and we engage with it, we, we, we don't object to it. We have to respect privacy, no question. But we also have to make sure that brands who have the right to build a business based on fair practice and fair value of an impression are able to you know, buy it at the right rate. I guess the question is what is wrong? I guess it just that it <laughs> happens too often. You know, to your point, like there's just too much retargeting, or is it what I think it probably is more is there's a lack of trust that the underlying data that's held by whoever's serving that ad is safe. It's great to get all the insights from uh, you know, our US clients and some of the industry experts that are directly here. And I feel like the direction we're taking is a good one. So I, you know, that's just going to strengthen our development of those new ideas and bringing them back to the market so hopefully we can test them with clients as quickly as possible.